Hello guys, it's yet another nice day outside, it's spring day. It's a little bit cloudy. I've got my dog here. Hey, come back. Don't run away from me. Um, I'm going to go to the beach again today. Again, without Maggie. Um, when restrictions ease and when 75 hard is over and I'm not going for like 45 minutes, um, I will probably take her a bit more. But also the thing I want to do is I want to go for a cold plunge and I can't leave her on the beach. I can't take her in with me because it'll be too cold for her. She won't like it. And I can't leave her in the car because that's cruel. So I'm going to go without her, go on a cold plunge. I might try and alternate days while I'm on leave, take her with me. I suppose it's already Thursday. So by the weekend, Emily will be able to come with me and we'll, I'll be able to just go in anyway. So I've been saying I'm going to go on a cold plunge for ages. Finally doing it. I've got tights on under here. I've got a singlet on that I can wear in the ocean. I'm going to do the cold plunge. So I've got to get my 45 out of the way first. It's already 2 o'clock. I've not completed one power list, uh, one um, 75 hard task yet. It's just one of those days. Um, I am planning on going non-stop from here though. I'm going to do the 45 minutes. Obviously I'm going to have ocean water all over me so I'm probably going to come home, shower for 5 minutes and then do a 45 minute workout and then Emily and I are running tonight so I'll shower again after that. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm going to go to the damn beach and have fun. It's the first time in a long time I've filmed in here. I haven't really been spending much time in here and I couldn't, I can't really pinpoint why. I don't know. Either way, um, I went to the beach, did a 45 minute walk um, and did cold plunge. I was in the ocean for like 15 minutes and I don't know whether or not it's psychosomatic but my ankles and knee that was feeling a bit average recently feel really relaxed and good now. So maybe that's something I needed to try, try and do every second day or something similar while I'm trying to get back into running. Um, all I can hear is the fridge buzzing and it's annoying the fuck out of me. And excuse me while I have a Karen moment, but I ordered my fridge two days ago and I've received like no update on what possible date it might be delivered. I'm not saying I wanted it to be next day delivered or maybe I'm hopeful it's sometime this week, but at the same time having no indication is a little bit annoying when you spend, you know, over a thousand bucks on a fridge. It is what it is. Had my Karen moment, now I can move on. More than anything, it's not a Karen moment, I'm just sick of the other fridge buzzing, the fan, it's pissing me off. Um, and all the ordeal I went through to defrost it last time is definitely because it's old. So we got given this fridge by my mum um, and she ha the fridge is like 14 years old. So I'm what, almost 30 now, so it's almost half my life old. Pra practically half my life old. It's fucking old. So it's no wonder it's breaking down now. I wouldn't expect an appliance in this day and age to last longer than that. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to get rid of it and I just want the new fridge. And I remember the ordeal of moving that fridge into our place when we first bought it. It was the hardest thing to move in. They had to take the doors off and it was just ridiculous. So we've paid for a premium delivery service that includes removing the old product. So... I'm going to have to time it well and when the delivery is close to arriving I'm going to have to have like the door, the door hinges loose and ready to take off and um, everything on the bench ready to be put into the new fridge and freezer so I was considering doing a bit of sh food shopping today but I probably should hold off realistically because it might be on the bench a little bit longer than I would have wanted it to or maybe I should get some ice on the day I don't know I can't figure it out I'll uh, figure it out closer to when I actually find out if it's getting delivered. <laughs> anyway, still got a lift for the day. I'm bloody loving the new dumbbells. They are so sick. I've actually got doms in my back and my shoulders properly for the first time in ages. The battery's about to run out, so I could get cut off at any time. Um, I've got to still lift and still run today, but I will talk more later because I do need to charge the camera. You know what? I'm filming, but I didn't charge the battery, so it's probably going to go out. Um, I'm cooking lamb for dinner over here. And I just went and did some shopping. Emily and I went on our run. I've done like almost 18,000 steps. But I will put on charge and film more later. Um, while I cook dinner, I guess. So the camera actually has some charge now, so I can talk, which is fantastic because I've got a lot to say. To the point where um, when I'm doing like phase three and stuff like that, I think there's a noticeable difference in how long my vlogs are. But it sort of also correlates to when I'm not at work and when I'm on holidays. But I feel like I just do so much more when I'm on the 75 hard program or when I'm like really motivated in life and I want to talk more about it. But I tend to just film like depending on what happens in the day. I wait and then just word vomit all out in one clip. 
I need to really start talking about one thing per clip and then just picking the camera up as I think of it. So, like I said in the last clip, we went running. Running's feeling really good. My ankle's feeling pretty good. My knee's feeling pretty good. I feel as though the cold plunge at the beach helped. And um, I'm actually two days into Kelly Starrett's ankle mobility like challenge thing. It's a 14 day challenge through the ready state. Like I said yesterday, I think it used to be called WOD prep. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. Um, he's teaching me methods that I've never really thought about in order to just throughout my day to day practice with my ankle mobility and all that sort of stuff. I reckon 14 days into it, my ankle's going to be a whole lot better than it is even now, which is awesome because um, it's going to mean I can run a lot, which is fantastic. All right, moving on. I had my weigh in today for my first week of phase three and I lost 3.9 kilos. Um, I expected to lose a little bit more and that might sound crazy, but I, because I had a pretty big night of eating and stuff the night before, I thought that I would be down quite a bit more. And I really genuinely thought I was hovering between 70 and 75, but I think that I had a couple of weeks in a row towards the end there where I was actually hovering at 70 to 75, where I had like three cheap meals in the one week with alcohol and all that sort of stuff. So it probably makes sense that I was tipping up towards 75 and a little bit above which isn't the end of the world because I still wasn't binge eating. I'm still happy with it. I know it was all alcohol and I know obviously because I'm doing phase three, it's well within my power to not drink for however long I want to not drink for um, in order to reach my goals. So yeah, feeling really good about that. Um, like I said to Emily as well, um, I was saying Emily on, on our walk, I think a lot of it is, um, I've also, I'm also training a lot. My training volume is high. So I think that I have gained a little bit of muscle over the past little bit. So I'm not too worried about the weight on the scale. I'm pretty happy with my physique at the moment. I think it was like two more weeks of this and I'm going to be like feeling better than I have in a really long time. Probably better than I did at the end of 75 hard. Um, I was, I think it was like 67 kilos and 68 kilos, but I won't be that. But I think my physique is going to be better because I've been lifting pretty consistently. And then moving on from there, what I was going to say is I lifted also before going running. Um, and those dumbbells, even though I can't throw them around like I would have if, that, if I bought ones for CrossFit, they are a game changer because I can so easily change the weights. Like my, I have the 10 kilo ones and I can change them to like 8 kilos and 6 kilos and 5 and 4 and stuff like that. But it's a pain in the ass to like have to change them. To un like to spin them and take them off, put them on. Whereas these ones, you just turn a dial, pick it up, and it's done. So I was doing like lateral raises, my arms were cooked, and then I was doing like twenty ones for my biceps, and then I was doing like Arnold press and all the. Oh, actually, I did the Arnold press with my hex dumbbells, but I was doing all these like exercises, and then at the end, I did shrugs with eighteen kilos in either hand. All these exercises that I wouldn't have been able to do even a week ago. But now I have these dumbbells, I feel like my training can go to the next level. And I think I started writing my training program. I fully completed it now. I've got two push days, two pull days, and two leg days. And I think I started writing that after I got the dumbbells because I knew that my lifting would be able to increase a whole lot. It just feels good. I feel as though I'm feeling out again. I'm looking a lot more toned and muscular again, um, which is what I want. That's how I like to live. That's when I feel my most confident. That's when I feel my most happy in my body. And pretty much, I just want to be better than I've ever been, my physique, by the end of 2020. And I honestly think that's possible. Um, and I'm definitely well on the way there. So it feels really awesome. Anyway, I've still got a couple of things to do before I finish phase three for the day. So I think that's all I wanted to stay for, say for now. I'll get those things done and then I'll be able to go to sleep. So I'll film more later. It's 12 minutes to 12. And I just yawned. I'm very tired. And I was just saying to myself, I'm going to just sleep. But then I just reminded myself that I get to still eat a little bit more. So I'm going to go make food, eat, and then sleep. Um, or then again, once I've eaten food, I probably won't sleep. Probably give me a bit more energy for a little bit. Now he's heard me talking and he's now like curious as to what the hell I'm doing. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm feeling so good lately. <sighs> Today's day 8 of 75.5 phase three so for all intents and purposes I'm almost a third of the way through um, and I think back when I was doing like phase one and phase two it would be a sense of relief getting closer to ending it but 
it's not anymore because like I said this is what, how I want to live my life all the time I always want to live life like this it's just I've got more energy just because of the way I'm living and it's phenomenal anyway um, I've got like 18,000 steps today I'm absolutely killing it at the moment that's all I'm rambling thank you for watching hope you're doing well take care and I'll see you tomorrow